Hello and welcome to the second part of my trip to Madeira in 2023. In this video we will be visiting the Botanic Gardens, the Flower and Fish Market as well as looking at some of the stunningly beautiful Portuguese architecture in and around Funchal. I have also thrown in a few interesting historical facts about Madeira and in particular Funchal. I do hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed putting it all together. Thank you for watching from Doug the Gardener.
William Reid was a son of a farmer from Kilmarnock, Scotland, one of seven children. He arrived in Madeira in 1836 with five pounds in his pocket, which his father had given him. He had been sent away on the advice of his doctor, who thought that Madeira's subtropical climate might actually help his poor health. By the age of 25, he was trading in wine, importing and exporting it from the island. He married Margaret Dewey, and the two of them set up a business renting out quintas, which is a type of Portuguese estate, to wealthy Europeans who wished to escape the harsh winters of home and stay for several months or more in the balmy warmth of Madeira. Once he had made enough money from the rental business, he started to build hotels for the very same rich Europeans. But his true dream was to build a magnificent luxury hotel in Funchal. Eventually, he managed to purchase the horse's leap, the Salto de Cavalla, a rocky cliff point from a doctor, Michael Grabo. He then managed to secure the services of the architect George Summers Clark, who had completed work in a legendary shepherd hotel in Cairo sometime before this. The building of what was initially called Reed's New Hotel began in 1887. Sadly, the following year, William died, and he never got to see his magnificent hotel completed. He is buried in the British Cemetery in Funchal. The building of Reed's new hotel was finally completed by his two sons, and opened its doors to guests in 1891. so much to do and see in Madeira that I have only managed to scratch the surface of its culture and history in these two videos. I've been round the island several times in previous trips, but this time kept to the capital Funchal and its environs. As you probably know by now, I have a keen interest in plants, so thoroughly enjoyed the trips to the tropical and botanic gardens. However, you don't even need to visit either of these gardens to appreciate the flora of Madeira, as simply walking around Funchal you'll come across plants which you may never have seen before. For example, this stunning blue-flowered Thunbergia grandiflora which was clambering over the wall of a garden close to our hotel. This was a plant completely new to me. We have Thunbergia in the UK, but it tends to be a small climbing annual plant, quite different from this one. I do hope that my plant naming is accurate, I have tried really hard to get it right. However, as I said, a lot of these plants are alien to anyone from the UK, bar some of the plants we consider to be house plants, which we used to sell in the garden centre I worked in latterly. Once again, thank you so much for watching this Doug the Gardener video, and I'll catch you again next time. Please subscribe if you can. Many thanks. Goodbye.